The high gates clanged shut behind Eric Langston as he stepped into the raw, sandy expanse of the gladiator pit. The scent of blood and sweat hit him like a wave, accompanied by the roars of a crowd that spanned the stars a thousand alien voices chanting for carnage, none familiar, none remotely human. He adjusted his grip on the crude, alien forged spear they'd given him and scanned the arena. His opponent today was one of the Syrah, a towering brute with scales that gleamed under the harsh stadium lights, curved claws as long as daggers. The only familiar face in the crowd was Macon Briggs, his partner from back home. Briggs nodded, his eyes hard and his body tense with anticipation. They were warriors from Earth, a species the galaxy had underestimated. Captured in the failed assault on a Zerban mining colony, they were thrown into the gaunt and told to fight for their survival. But what was a nightmarish punishment for others had become a trial of grit and will for them a chance to prove what humanity could do. The alien announcer's guttural voice echoed, declaring the rules. It was a simple message that transcended language barriers. One winner. One corpse. The Syra flexed, showing off rows of jagged teeth as it grinned at him. It stomped forward, confident in its raw strength, exuding an aura of invincibility. Eric's heart hammered, but he held his ground, searching for weaknesses, calculating each possible move. The first clash came fast. The Syra lunged, claws swiping at his midsection. Eric sidestepped, letting the massive claws scrape the air as he countered with a quick jab to the creature's leg. His spear didn't pierce the tough scales, but it threw the Syrah off balance, if only slightly. The crowd booed, unimpressed with his small move, hungry for blood. Eric ignored them. We got anything left in that bag of tricks. Briggs called from the sidelines, his voice carrying a grin. Oh, I'm just getting started. Eric shot back, a smirk tugging at the corners of his mouth. The Syrah recovered, roaring and throwing itself at him in a fury. Eric ducked low, rolled, and jammed the butt of his spear into the creature's foot, aiming to break its toes. The impact staggered the creature, and it howled, stumbling back in fury. Eric saw his opening. Move fast. Don't stop. He launched himself up, swinging the spear like a staff, smashing it across the creature's face, then jabbing it into one of the softer sections under its arm. This time, the spear sunk in a few inches, drawing blood a thick, dark substance that smelled bitter and foreign. The Syra shrieked in pain, reeling back, and Eric felt the electric charge of adrenaline surging through him. He'd drawn first blood. Show them, Langston. Briggs yelled, pounding his fist against the metal gate. The Syra's eyes glinted with rage, and in a swift move, it snapped the spear in half with one slash of its claws. Eric tossed the broken shaft aside and rolled backward, breathing hard. He was weaponless now, left with nothing but his bare hands against a creature three times his size. But that was fine. He had another weapon the Syrah didn't eat human ingenuity. The Syrah charged again, but this time Eric was ready. He crouched low, let it close the distance, then surged forward, driving his shoulder into the beast's stomach. The crowd gasped as he took the creature off balance, spinning to hook an arm around its neck, choking it from behind. The Syrah clawed at him slicing through his sleeve and scoring his forearm. But he held on, tightening his grip until the creature's eyes bulged. With one final twist, Eric slammed the Syrah's head into the ground with all his strength. The beast's neck snapped with a sickening crunch. It twitched once, then lay still. Silence blanketed the arena, followed by a collective roar of shock and anger. Hell yeah, Langston. Briggs shouted, laughing as the alien crowd howled in dismay. The gates opened again but Eric barely had time to catch his breath before a new opponent entered. This time, it was a towering elephor, a snake-like alien with ten limbs ending in sharpened, metallic claws, its eyes glowing a fierce red. Eric's adrenaline spiked again. Each opponent was faster, stronger, deadlier than the last. The elephor didn't hesitate. It charged, whirling its claws like spinning blades. Eric barely dodged, feeling the sting as one claw grazed his cheek. He dropped to the ground, scooping up a shard from his broken spear, and holding it in his bleeding hand, his mind racing. The elephor was faster than anything he'd faced before, its body a mass of writhing coils and flailing limbs. He couldn't outpace it, but he could use its speed against it. Eric baited it into another attack, letting it swing wildly before ducking low, throwing himself under its spinning limbs. He slashed upward with a spear shard, piercing its underbelly, where the scales were thinner. The elephor screeched in pain, its coils loosening. Eric seized the moment, flipping over its back, grabbing its head with one hand, and thrusting the shard deep into one of its glowing eyes. The alien went limp, collapsing to the ground with a thud. Eric staggered back, 
his breaths coming in gasps, his vision blurry from exhaustion. But there was no time to rest. Another alien was already being prepared in the holding gates, and Briggs was next in line if he couldn't fight. Switch out, Langston, Briggs called, worry edging his voice. Eric spat out blood, shaking his head. Not a chance. They think we're just animals. But I'll show them what we can do. The gates opened again, revealing the last challenger. A hulking Katan A creature of pure muscle, armored with a metallic exoskeleton and wielding a weapon that resembled a molten mace. Its eyes fixed on Eric with predatory focus, and Eric felt a chill creep down his spine. This was a creature bred for war. Eric shifted his stance, ignoring the searing pain in his shoulder, the blood pooling in his boot. His heartbeat thundered as the Katan closed in, weapon raised, its voice a low, menacing growl. He waited until the last possible second, then dove to the side as the molten mace slammed into the ground, sending a spray of burning sand everywhere. Eric scrambled up, grabbing a broken piece of his last spear, the fragment barely a dagger in size, and rolled forward to strike. The Katan lashed out, catching him across the side, and Eric felt his ribs crack. The pain nearly blinded him, but he held onto that shard, plunging it into the Katan's side. The alien roared in pain but didn't falter, grabbing him by the throat and lifting him off the ground, ready to crush him. Eric's mind reeled, his vision dimming, when he heard Briggs shouting, his voice breaking through the haze. Use your head, Langston literally. Gathering his last reserves of strength, Eric snapped his head forward, slamming his forehead into the Katan's nose. The creature's grip loosened, and Eric took his chance, wrapping his legs around its arm, twisting and contorting until the joint gave with a sickening pop. The Katan dropped him, howling in pain, and Eric used the moment to stab the shard into its throat his movements fueled by sheer, primal survival instinct. The Katan thrashed, trying to wrench him off, but Eric didn't relent, digging deeper until he hit something vital. The alien convulsed, then finally stilled, collapsing in a heap beside him. Eric lay on the ground, panting, barely able to see. Blood streaked his face, and his muscles felt like they'd been torn to shreds. But the crowd had fallen silent. Even the alien announcer seemed lost for words. Then, Briggs' voice cut through the stillness, a victorious shout that echoed across the stadium. You wanted to fight well, you got one. Slowly, Eric pulled himself to his feet, staring up at the sea of alien faces that stared back, some in shock, others in awe. They had expected mere entertainment, expecting to see fragile creatures crushed under the weight of superior strength and alien weapons. Instead, they'd witnessed something far more powerful human will. As Eric looked to Briggs, he knew they'd done more than survive today. They'd made a statement. They were warriors, champions of Earth, and they wouldn't be broken. As he raised his fist in triumph, the crowd's roar shifted, some cheering, others hissing in disapproval. But Eric didn't care. He and Briggs had won not just a battle but respect, even among their captors. And maybe, just maybe, it was the beginning of something bigger rebellion that might shake the galaxy itself.